More news now, and about 100 health care workers are fed up with their former employer, and today they took their fight to the state. They held a big rally in downtown Milwaukee. Our Cody Holyoke was there. Cody. Mike, good afternoon. Yeah, dozens of people who used to work for Deaconess Home Health came here to the state office building today. They filed formal complaints, hoping the government could help them where no one else could. Tired, struggling, and demanding change, dozens of former Deaconess Home Health workers organized their first formal protest. I need my money and I need some answers. We need yeah. We're not gonna give up. With help from workers' rights groups, employees filled out and filed labor complaints with the Department of Workforce Development. All right, keep up the fight, brothers and sisters. Hoping the official move would unfreeze money for paychecks. Now a week past due. Everyone wants to get paid. There's bills that has to be paid. We have to get paid. We work for this. This is not something that was given to us. We work for this. Deaconess shut down in the middle of a health insurance fraud investigation. Little word came from the company. I take care of four people and I can't pay my bills. The financial stress is nearly too much to take. While they continue to care for patients, workers like Mary or Mustafa are scrambling for a job. I gotta go to interviews, I gotta go to orientation still, so it takes another four to six weeks before anything. So you're waiting a month, month and a half to get money. Yeah, oh yeah. While workers wait for a resolution, they take comfort in the fact their protests are now in writing and the fight is far from over. It's not over. It's gonna continue until we get our money and a new job. So what now? Well, the state will now look over these complaints. We're told they can even ask authorities to take a lien out on Deaconess, which would free up some lost wages. We're told, though, that process could take weeks or even months. While these workers wait, they've already scheduled another rally and protest for this weekend. Live in downtown Milwaukee, Cody Holyoke, today's TMJ4. Okay, Cody, you'd like to see them get paid. Thank you. Well, a horrifying fire inside.